and I will invite uh, Maria Teresa Alonso, the president and founder of the Spanish Institute, to share the kind of community integration work that they do. Um, and then uh, Kibo Kile will uh, come in afterwards and share the experiences that her students have specifically had. So Maria Teresa is very gracious to have joined us. Um, she is, of course, understandably somewhat nervous about having to present in English. Um, mm -hmm. So we, uh, I told her we're a very friendly group. And so um, I know that she will share her presentation and then um, we all understand if we were challenged to uh, communicate and present in a second language, depending on that language, we might be equally nervous. So we do thank Maria Teresa for both bridging the cultural and the linguistic divide to join us today. So Maria Teresa, please, uh, we look forward to hearing from you. Well, thank you very much. Uh, I say hello to everyone, and I'm really happy to be here today. Um, the first thing I want to say is thank you to Gateway for the opportunity to speak with, uh, with you, with all of you, and thank Heidi, Heidi Sonneson, uh, to organize this. And I'm, I'm also very grateful for, you know, to be able to share this uh, webinar with uh, the team of Tucan Education Programs, Rondin and Diana. Um, um, well, I, I also help, uh, say thank you to Kevo Kile, that is a person that's been, you know, in, in the United States or working, uh, you know, letting our school provide a program for the university, Pizza University. I want to talk about uh, the Spanish Institute, our school, that, as Heidi said, uh, it's already 42 years old. Um, I, I want to talk about the internship and service learning programs. So if you are, if your students are looking for an opportunity to gain a real world experience while at the same time immerse themselves in a new culture, I think we can really help them. We want them to start their professional journey in Sevilla, Spain. Uh, Sevilla is a great city. It's not very big, um, but the centuries of tradition, tradition meet with modern innovation so well there. And Sevilla is an ideal environment for, for both personal and professional growth. At the Spanish Institute for Global Education, uh, we, we don't just offer internships, we offer experiences that combine meaningful, meaningful work with cultural immersion. It's similar in a way to what the, the uh, Tucan education programs were saying, you know is this uh, possibility of uh, working, learning how to work in an environment, but also meeting, uh, meeting people from other country. When you go to a, abroad, what happens is you learn more about your own country because you start thinking and comparing and learning other ways of thinking. And it's very, very nice. Well, uh, students, uh, when they come, they develop new skills and become part of a close-knit community, practicing Spanish as they connect with locals in authentic everyday settings. And that's very important. Um, by the way, you can also uh, do the internships in English, if you like. It's not We don't have so many... Uh, opportunities in English, but we do have for students who just want to go abroad. They want to learn Spanish, but they they don't have an enough level uh, of English to to do the internship in 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 Spanish. Okay, but mainly uh, the majority of our offer, as you can see here, is um, is in Spanish. Um, yeah. Okay. 
We offer internships in many areas. You can see it here. We also provide volunteer and service learning opportunities that we, um, we allow that allow students to engage, um, you know, um, at the level and um, depth that, that works best for them. We take care a lot about um, personalizing the the experience. No? So I think that is what makes us different in a way that for us, we understand that each student has unique goals. It's not something generalized or massive or anything, you know. That's why we customize each inter internship to suit the student's academic and career aspirations because they are, you know, also, the personal growth is always there. Uh, maybe the way I, I see things is that I was an AFS student in 1969 in the United States. Yeah. And I they sent me to Iowa. And people <laughs> say, what did you do in Iowa? What, you know? And I say, I learned a lot, not only English. I learned a lot, a lot about your country, a lot about... Uh, how to learn, how mm. to do many things. And, and you know, for me, it, it's something that is not just words. It's a real experience in me that changed my life. And that's why I insist in this when I say personal growth and so on. Um, if, if a student, whether they are in, interested in healthcare, business, or the arts, we work with them to find the perfect placement, and they also have the option to earn academic credit, which is also very important, you know, because some students want to come just for the experience, which is more than enough, but some of them want to get credits, and that's possible in our program. Um, our flexible programs are um, allow the students to choose when to come and for how long and whether it is for a summer or a full semester. Students can do their internship as a standalone opportunity and that's a unique program or integrate it into a summer or a semester program. We also incorporate these experiential, experiential learning opportunities into custom and faculty directed short term programs so that each institution can design that works, what works best for their students, you know, because sometimes teachers want to come with a group and then they want something very specific just for the university, the something that they really uh, is the goal of the university or the college. And then, of course, we we work the way they need it, you know. So um, I would say that um, a student um, time abroad is about much more than just applied learning, which is reality you know, but it's more than that because we enhance student experiences with enriching cultural activities and language immersion that make every day for every person an adventure everything is new every day in the, the first 15 days is like crazy but after 15 days you start dreaming in Spanish, and that's mm. a very good experience. We help students grow as a global citizens, and it's so important, so important now in this time of the, you know, of for our world, to feel that you are a global citizen, that you can connect with many people and understand people that are so different to you. We can, we want to prepare them. Uh, and be ready to tackle challenges in the international job market and in the, you know, 
uh, all the challenges that the world may, you know, uh, offer to every person in, in their life. From the moment students arrive, they have the full support of our team. And before they arrive, of course, we, you know, we are so much in time with them. We talk about what they want, what is their level, if they feel like this way or the other. They just, everything is ready for them when they come. You know. Many of our past interns, like for example, Jennifer that I remember, who worked with a local startup and was offered a full-time position after graduation. Many of them have gone on to achieve great success. Um, we are here to make sure that every student has this opportunity. As I said, I come to this conclusion from me that changed my life and helped me so much opened so much my mind. When I came, it was Franco's time in Spain. Mm -hmm. And when I went back, <laughs> my, one professor told me, uh, I'll say it in Spanish and then in English, Señorita, usted de donde ha salido? I said, Señorita, where are you, where did you come from? You know, you don't even, you know, all of a sudden you pop like a mushroom here, <laughs> so different, you know asking questions and so on. You were supposed to be, you know, shutting up uh, in the classroom. And I was all the time asking questions because the class was philosophy. I, I, uh, my, I am my, I'm a, my philosophy is my major. I don't know how you say that. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, when you study philosophy, the first thing you do is ask lots of questions. And I learned to, openly ask questions in the United States, in Iowa, in a high school. Mm. Okay. So success for us is unattainable, is attainable for every student. And we believe that and we try that this is for all of them. So I would say that if you're looking for exper experiential learning for students, that goes beyond just building a resume, which is good to build a resume, but it's not just that. Something that will truly shape your student's future, both professionally and personally, Sevilla and the Spanish Institute are ready for your students. And we can't wait to welcome them and take care of them. So this is, I hope my English is being clear enough. <laughs> very good. Uh, and we could, we, we could hear, I was always wondering, now I finally can identify that slightly Iowa accent in your English, Maria <laughs> Teresa. So. Oh, uh. I'm, I'm proud of that. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. Thank you so much. Very helpful overview. Um, and the passion both for that you and Rondine uh, share with us about why you do what you do really comes through so clearly.